Hey folks, this is Jake Davis with an on-the-fly review for you. And today I'm talking about Gretel and Hansel released last month starring Alice Crouch and it's Sophia Lillis. Uh, I'm going to keep this short. This is, uh, you know, I've, this is of course a horror movie adaptation of the, or adaption of um, the legendary Grimm's fairy tale Hansel and Gretel. <coughs> the whole setup here is Two children are forced to leave home when they come across come across crass, the fuck, man. when they come across a uh, a cottage in the middle of the woods with a witch lady who wants to eat them. They eventually burn the witch alive, and that's the fairy tale. Um, there's no breadcrumbs. There's no gingerbread house. Uh, Gretel is a naive boyish kind of stupid kid and so and Gretel is a blossoming young woman who is both sexualized and androgenized at the same time. Uh I gotta say something about you know it feels like every female in this film is every is either a witch or a whore. And it's just, it really is disturbing to me, you know, because we're supposed to be in this female revolution and, you know, the post-Me Too mo movement and, you know, hurrah for New Hollywood. But this is how you perceive women? You know, this or that? I mean, this is really quite awful. Um, uh, I didn't know. I mean, I can't even get around anything else other than in that in the in the film. I mean, that's it's literally it's almost like like when you watch gangster movies. How they always tell the kids, well, I could either have joined the family or gone into priesthood. You know, it's like they're telling Gretel the same thing in this film. You could be a witch or you could sell yourself. Um, <laughs> Saint or prostitution. Jesus. I just, you know, it, that, it bothered me. That really bothered me. Um, on the plus side, I think this film was better than Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters from 2013, which was just a shameless blade ripoff. And you know if you if, uh, if if I have to refresh your memories, I absolutely memory I absolutely love Blade. I loved that movie from 1998. I did my very first retro review was for it back in October of 2018. Uh, I don't really have much to say about this movie. I really don't like this movie. I'm gonna give it one star. Uh, Sophia Lillis is you know a terrific young actress, uh, but I felt that with. No, I always kind of felt that It was like Hansel and Gretel meets Billy the Goat Scruff. And with the girl from It, in this Hansel and Gretel story where the director is clearly stealing shit from Andy Musietti's It, it almost, it, it was like, it was almost like you're watching a bad fan film. Uh, it's, I just didn't like it. I really didn't like it. Uh, I'll, I'll say I was Kreige, uh, Kreege, whatever her name is. She like masters in being creepy chicks. Oh, which you know points out that um, you know she was in the Sleepwalker, so this film actually has Stephen King pedigree of some sort, even though it has nothing to do with Stephen King. Uh, it's just weird to me. I, I, it seems like a grim fairy tale horror film is a no-brainer and it should work, but you know the Company of Wolves came out in the mid '80s, I believe, ish, '80s ish, mid ish. But I just, I mean, they've been Red Riding Hood and Jack the Giant Slayer. I guess it was kind of, they, 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 they went monsters for the giants. It's not really a horror movie. I forget I said that one. But, uh, between this and Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunter, and Witch Hunters, and uh, the last year's Mall, which was kind of modern reimagining of the Hansel and Gretel story, I still say, uh, the... The Deborah Harry uh, booking uh, story in the Tales from the Dark Side film is still the best Hansel and Gretel movie we will ever get. Uh, I was disappointed in this. I was looking forward to it. It, it had a great look. Great aesthetic. I mean, uh, the force is creepy. The costumes are really nice. The dialogue uh, was quite, quite good. But that also leads to another problem I had with it. I felt the movie... I felt this movie was kind of trying too hard to be like The Witch. From, I think, 2015 or 2016, Robert Eggers' films. Robert Eggers' film. Y'all learn how to speak. 
got to relearn how to speak. Anyhow, uh, yeah, one star. It, it was a disappointment. Um, I was looking forward to this movie. And even though this sucks, I'm still hoping against hope that one day, one day, we will have a decent fairy tale horror movie. But it just really feels like we're not going to get that. Unless you count it. In which case, hey, <laughs> they're one, it's one of the best horror movies ever made. And you can also, you know, go into the Babadook, too, since, you know, fairy tale stuff. That's very much a, a modern, uh, an original fairy tale. Anyhow, yeah, one star. Uh, I'm going to go eat some dinner. Diet shirt. Like the new place. Look up for the Roger Moore thing. And also, I'm very much thinking about watching The Boy Part 2. Uh, the first one was really stupid, but it had just a ridiculous ending that was so just absurd. It almost made the movie worth it. But, we'll see. Uh, you know, I gotta look for crap to watch just, just for the sake of having this channel that I do for free. Anyhow, I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly.